archives of Prasar Bharti presents the timeless treasure of golden era. On 14 January 2013, the United Nations General Assembly, during its 67th session, adopted a resolution proclaiming 13 February, the day United Nations Radio was established in 1946 as World Radio Day. When Neil Diamond crooned, reaching out, touching me, touching you, in that iconic song, Sweet Caroline, he could as well be singing about radio. Radio which reaches out across seemingly insurmountable geographical divides, touches countless lives and yet remains in the background. Like a good friend who never pries but steps in on a bad day with alacrity as the world has witnessed again and again when natural disasters strike. When all newfangled media fail in the face of nature's fury, radio is that saviour that connects people, connects lives and connects hope. Radio is a powerful tool. Even in today's world of digital communications, radio reaches more people than any other media platform. It conveys vital information and raises awareness on important issues. And it is a personal, interactive platform where people can air their views, concerns and grievances. Radio can create a community. For the United Nations, especially our peacekeeping operations, radio is a vital way of informing, reuniting and empowering people affected by war. On this World Radio Day, let us recognize the power of radio to promote dialogue, tolerance and peace. <laughs> The lyrics of the song Mile Sur Mera Tumhara To Sur Bane Hamara are unique. One phrase repeated in 14 Indian languages meaning when my musical note and your musical note merge, it becomes our musical note. India's unity in diversity. India Radio, India's national broadcaster and also the premier public service broadcaster has been serving to inform, educate and entertain the masses since its inception. Truly living up to its motto, Bahujan Hitai, Bahujan Sukai. AIR's home service comprises 420 stations located across the country, reaching nearly 92% of the country area and 99.19% of the total population. We originate programming in 23 languages and 179 dialects. The External Services Division of All India Radio broadcasts daily in 57 transmissions with almost 72 hours covering over 108 countries in 27 languages, out of which 15 are foreign and 12 Indian. Our objective is to provide information, education and entertainment for promoting the welfare and happiness of the masses. Public Service Radio disseminates information in the most democratic manner. It speaks the language of the masses and it reaches the last man. Serving a variety of fair, invariable formats, plays, news, talk shows, music, running commentaries, special programs for special audiences, leaving none out. Radio rules the imagination. Radio is the theatre for the blind. Radio is an intimate storytelling medium. Is it any wonder then that the Prime Minister of the world's largest democracy should choose AIR over others for his intimate heart-to-heart -heart talk with the citizens? As someone quipped, when it comes to radio, people are all ears. We can't do better than to quote the Prime Minister himself when he said, If we touch those questions, questions that touch the heart, we will be able to reach out to the common man. No wonder Man Ki Baat became an instant success as it decidedly is packaged with precision and put through on a dissemination network with vast domestic and global reach. AIR is arguably one of the largest radio networks of the world. With 422 stations throughout the country, 
serving different segments of the population, including the underdog. You can't have a more potent instrument than EIR for exchange of ideas between the country's Prime Minister and his people. Indeed, Man Ki Baat epitomizes all that is best in public service broadcasting. Radio is a long-playing song that changes its beat with the times. It is adapting to 21st century changes and offering new ways to interact and participate, becoming more and more interactive. To quote UNESCO again, where social media and audience fragmentation can put us in media bubbles of like-minded people, radio is uniquely positioned to bring communities together and foster positive dialogue for change. Yeah.